the central issues that we're trying to identify, the central concerns that we're trying to identify are, you know, really what should policy look like in the areas that we're concerned about? What, um, what are the critical issues that the candidates are talking about? What are the right answers to them? And what are the right answers to the issues that the candidates aren't talking about? You know, there's a, there's a tendency always to let the candidates set the terms of, of the debate. Um, but sometimes there are just hugely important issues that, you know, just go by the wayside in campaigns that are much more important in the course of governing than they are in the course of campaigns. And so part of what we feel our role is is to uh, remind people that there are these other issues that aren't actually the subject of much campaign debate but do occupy or will occupy a lot of attention necessarily in the next administration. What are the real decision points um, of issues in which candidates will issue very sweeping statements but which the actual room for policy making may be very narrow and very incremental? There are a lot of those issues. You know, we're going to sweep everything off the table, and then you, you get into office, and actually, it's really more of a question of rearranging the silverware in, in, in certain respects. And all of this is sort of bound together by the question of what should the next administration do. And so what, we're, what we tried to do was identify, and this is the area really where this year's project is a little different from Opportunity 08, um, which we identified 12 issues. Um, which we think are, if not, not necessarily the critical issues, but certainly critical issues for the next administration to think about. Um, some are big issues like today's, for example, will be big issues in the campaign itself, and some will not. Some of them are, are issues that we think are important and should be a bigger part of the debate than they're actually likely to be. For each of these issues, we identified one Brookings Scholar um, who had done work in that area, sometimes a pair, but, but in, in this case one, who had done important work in that area, and we asked that person to write a main paper kind of discussing the issue in question, the, 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 the record of the, last, the current administration on that, the critique that the opposition party is making of that record, and situating uh, that entire discussion in terms of the question, what should the next administration in the next four years, whether it's a re-elected Obama administration or a Santorum administration or a Gingrich administration, it's a Romney administration, what should it do? What's the sort of right answer for the next administration?